According to experts, diversifying your income is the only surefire way to improve your financial situation. But which source of income is more crucial than the other? Or which sources of income do you need? I'll be sharing the three income streams that everyone requires with you in this video. But before we get deeper, if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. So, without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Employment Income We've all heard it at some point in our lives. You need to go to school and get good grades to get a good job. And even though more and more people are deviating from this established course of action, getting a good education and landing a good job remain important. First of all, we come the first to the money we earn daily from our jobs. It is also known as a salary, or if you are from the UK, wages. Depending on your employer, this income may be paid daily, weekly, monthly, or even annually. Whatever it is, it still has a crucial in your effort to succeed financially. You might be wondering why it's important to have this sort of income right about now, as you should. And let me explain why. Income from employment is crucial because it gives you a feeling of security. It has a set amount that is paid and scheduled, usually every two weeks. Among the three incomes, I'm about to discuss this in this video. It is also the most predictable. Therefore, income predictability is typically the simplest way to start making money, particularly after completing your post-secondary education. You see, most people have significant student debt when they leave college, and by beginning to earn money right away from employment income, you will significantly reduce the amount of time you get with this debt. Having employment income allows you to generate income and eliminate those bothersome debts as quickly as possible. As long as you're using that new income source to pay down debt, that is, especially in the short term. Moving on from employment income also enables you to access debt, making you qualify for credit cards, mortgage loans, and other types of debt. The bank will view you as a more reliable borrower if you have a job. And as you are aware, borrowing money is a great way to purchase assets that will boost your cash flow month after month. Finally, having a job enables you to expand your network and start meeting new people. Likely, your professional network won't be fully developed when you first begin your career. But as time goes on, you will likely develop relationships with people from all walks of life. In every new acquaintance you make can help you develop personally. Not to mention, the people you meet can frequently help you in your effort to find future employment. To increase the amount of employment income, they can therefore be a great ally. Overall, your income is built on the income you receive from your job. It is safe and timely, and by working, you give yourself a chance to develop important skills and contacts that will benefit you greatly in the future. Number 2. Internet Income The best way to describe the internet is as a global village, which is how the World Wide Web is frequently described. The internet has created a new avenue for making a lot of money. As many people are aware, internet income is the second kind of income stream that everyone needs because of this. The fact that he is the richest man in the world at the moment this video is being made is not surprising. With the aid of the internet, Jeff Bezos amassed wealth. Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg, the third and fourth richest men, respectively founded Microsoft and Facebook to make money online. The financial potential of the internet is virtually limitless. So if you want to achieve financial independence for ourselves, we must all embrace this trend and start earning money online. There are many different ways to generate an income passively, which is one of the main benefits of working from home online. In other words, earning money from the digital assets you have set up online doesn't require you to be actively involved. Once everything is set up, 
you can essentially just go to sleep and the money will be generated on its own. You only need to routinely maintain your platform, whether it be a website, social media account, or even an online tool. Additionally, it enables you to work remotely and makes international networking simpler. I realize now that I emphasized networking is a major perk of having a job, but networking is now much simpler than it ever was thanks to the rise of social media. As a result, the popularity of social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn among others, networking has become as simple as clicking the follow button on your screen. Someone halfway around the world and instantly receives their response. These platforms and apps have completely transformed how we interact with clients, co workers, and friends, opening the networks that we can all access. Now that you know you don't need to be a tech expert, you might be wondering how to start earning money online. I'll share some advice with you to help you. There is freelancing to start. In essence, freelancing is when a person works for themselves as opposed to a business. Even though they do temporary work for associations and organizations, freelancers are at last their bosses. The companies that employ freelancers view them as contractors rather than employees. Simply put, a freelancer is an independent contractor who accepts payment for their services. As a freelancer, you can now work on a wide range of projects that require a variety of skills. You're in luck if you're just starting as a freelancer and haven't yet located clients to work for. There are many websites where you can market your services to customers and begin establishing long-term relationships with them to turn your online income into a reliable source of income. If you're just getting started, check out websites like Fiverr, Upwork, and Freelancer.com. Don't worry if it seems a little perplexing. At first, I felt the same way. The ability to easily combine internet work with a 9 to 5 job is another significant benefit. Since you can typically work online 24 7, you can fit this work into your regular 9 to 5 schedule. One key benefit of freelancing is that it gives you the flexibility to continue working a traditional 9 to 5 job while also offering your services and earning a lot of money in your spare time. The main drawback of freelancing is that it does not allow you to generate passive income. It is a good way to begin earning money online though. Affiliate marketing is a choice if you're looking for a more passive method of earning money online. In essence, this involves taking a cut of the overall sales in exchange for selling other people's goods. The best part of this is that customers who purchase some of your products make recurring payments every month. You are compensated every month even if you only refer one client. Whether you take any further action or not, you will still be paid. Every month, it sounds great, doesn't it? You usually need a platform that regularly sees traffic if you want to start earning money through affiliate marketing. You will persuasively promote goods and services from other people's businesses on your blog, YouTube channel, and other platforms in the hopes that customers will use your affiliate links to get what they want. Even though this is passive, developing your platform might not be. So bear that in mind before beginning to use this online income model. In conclusion, there are a ton of ways to make money online, many of which give you the chance to earn more than you could ever hope to at a standard 9 to 5 job. This is why you should combine this income source with your salary from your current job. Number 3. Dividend Income Though it is by far the most passive of the income streams previously mentioned, everyone needs this one as well.
presence, you are making your money work for you. However, you must first choose your investing style before you invest any money. When you open a brokerage account online, an online broker will probably ask you about your investment goals and how much risk you are willing to take on before you get started. While some investors prefer to set it and forget it, others prefer to actively manage the growth of their money. Traditional online brokers offer shares, exchange traded funds, business funds, and mutual funds. Many financial institutions demand a small down payment. In other words, they won't approve your account application unless you deposit a certain amount of money. Some businesses won't even let you open an account with a deposit of $1,000, while others have no minimum deposit policy. If the balance reaches a certain amount, some will frequently reduce fees like trading and account management charges. Other companies may also provide a predetermined number of commission free trades in exchange for opening an account. All of this is to say that opening an investment account is the first step in beginning to make money if you don't already have one. I advise you to look into businesses who have a track record of paying dividends. You will discover that some businesses offer more dependable dividend payments than others and that this third source of income can only be productive if regular dividend income is rated. Well, there you have it guys. Thanks for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button to get updated on our latest videos. Don't forget to like this video and drop a comment. See you next time.